Art is Activism, Art is Memorial. I'm going to just talk briefly about uh, a little, little like overview of history of, well, it's not even an overview, it's just, it's even briefer than an overview. A few examples of prints uh, responding to art as memorial. So this is Daumier, the French lithographer, uh, the Franco-Prussian War, 1871, says on there. Uh, the grieving figure in front of a field of, of the dead, obviously. Um, Katie Kollwitz, after World War I, the Spartacus Revolution. One of the leaders of the Spartacus Revolution was killed by the, what was called the Freikorps in Germany. And Katie Kollwitz made this memorial for, uh, for the dead, the living and the dead. Um, four people gathering in her neighborhood in Berlin to memorialize one of the leaders of the revolution. Uh, Leopoldo Mendez, uh, extrajudicial killings in Mexico in the 1950s. Ben Sean, uh, this piece called Poland. It was done in the 50s. I assume it's the Polish uprising, but I don't know exactly. Against the Nazis is what I'm assuming. But images of grief. Um, if we if we look at these are I'm going to show some examples of the show that's upstairs and other pieces that are not necessarily in the show the way different artists have responded to, to the issues of, that are brought up by the Al-Mutanabi project. This is Jessica Dunn, who lives in San Francisco, um, just basically showing the aftermath of the disaster, um, bringing, bringing the viewer into the present moment of the actual event. Um, Doug Minkler, an artist in Berkeley, taking a more, uh, activist position saying uh, the text in there says that the booksellers have rebuilt the, the street and brought it back to life. Um, Patrick Piazza, also a San Francisco artist, looks at the history of the region and brings together imagery, some of it, uh, I assume, Assyrian. Uh, it's, it's, this is a flat piece, but it's, it's an image of a book, and it looks three-dimensional, but um, you know, there's also some, some more heroic imagery in there that's not Assyrian, like the angel holding the book open. Uh, this is Ronnie Goodman, uh, also a San Francisco artist, taking this more personal viewpoint of, of how he personally found culture through books. This is him as a young man there at the bottom right here, looking at a book, and then the tragedy of destruction. This is an artist, Nick, Nick Naughton, in Kansas City, who takes a, uh, a more like a view of, of the destruction and then hope proceeding out of that destruction, the, the dove in the form of a book. And Josh McPhee, an artist in Brooklyn, New York, um, similar idea, different execution. And then this is uh, Fumi Ishida from Japan, uh, a more abstract approach to the, to the concept of transformation of hope after destruction. So um, I guess we're gonna get everybody up here and, and have a little bit of a talk, if we can do that. Um, I just wanted to give that overview and um, why, don't, why don't you panelists come up here and we'll, we'll sit on the stage here.